and welcome to your weekly Angel Tower reading. This week, I have a special message from Archangel Raguel to give to you. Archangel Raguel is the Archangel of Harmony, Justice and Fairness and he's also the Archangel of Relationships. He is giving you the message that you should enjoy spending quality time with your family, friends and loved ones. If you have any get-togethers, make sure you put your phone, iPad, laptop, anything that distracts you and keeps you from being present in the moment, put it away. You will feel better for this and your family and friends will appreciate it too. If you have any family rifts, anything in the past that needs healing, you can ask Archangel Raguel to bring peace and harmony to this. And if there are any emotional troubles, then you can ask Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael to help heal them. This week I am using the Archangel Power Tarot and the messages that I'm going to choose for you this week are for the beginning of the week, the middle and the end of the week. The card I chose for the beginning of the week is the Empress Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is the Archangel of Creativity. She is bringing you love, motivation and courage to be creative. Whether your focus is on the creative arts, family life or romantic life, Archangel Gabriel is bringing the message of a happy outcome. Your plans will grow and bloom if you give them the love and attention that they deserve. The card I chose for the middle of the week is the High Priestess, Archangel Haniel. Now is a time of faith. Beautiful Archangel Haniel is the Archangel of Insight. She can help you to be more in tune with your intuition. Know that the answers that you are seeking are within you. Pay attention to your emotions your intuition, any psychic insights, and your dreams. They will give you the information that you need to take the next steps. You are the first point to call for any information that you need. And the easiest way of receiving this information is to be filled with peace and patience. Slow down and focus on self-reflection and meditation. The card I chose for the end of the week is the Knight of Michael. The Knight of Michael brings a message of the need for swift action. You may need to make a decision suddenly, but make sure that you don't act impulsively. Use your mind and make plans and know exactly how you're going to follow them through. Be strong, committed and focused. All the messages this week mean, you can create and accomplish anything if you set your mind to it. Listen to your intuition and any divine guidance that you receive. And don't act impulsively, make plans and follow through with them carefully. A good crystal to work with this week is selenite. This is a wonderful high vibrational crystal which is filled with light. It's really good at clearing away any negative toxic energy. If there's a room in your home which you feel has a build up of negativity, maybe you've had an argument in there or something, then you can place this crystal in there and it will help to uplift the energy and turn it into positive energy. Also, if you've got any objects which you feel have accumulated negativity, for example jewellery, then you can place a selenite on it to remove any negativity. And you don't need to worry about cleansing selenite because it's self-cleansing and you can use it to cleanse other crystals too. If you're going anywhere, you can carry a piece of selenite around with you to protect yourself from negative people and negative situations. And if you feel like your aura has a accumulated a buildup of negativity, then you can get a selenite wand and you can wave it around yourself 
this up and down and around to help clear your aura and this will help your aura to have a high vibration and will help to clear your chakras so you can clearly receive messages from the divine. This week's affirmation is, my dreams are coming true, sending you love, light and angel blessings.